As more people argue that meat consumption should be reduced in response to the climate crisis, researchers here in South Korea are developing beef with low greenhouse gas emissions. Chung Eun-ju explains further. Inseparable from humans throughout history, cattle are a major source of energy in modern society. Their reputation as being irreplaceable, however, has been marred in recent years as the importance of reducing greenhouse gas emissions for carbon neutrality grows. Cattle emit more greenhouse gases than other livestock as they release large amounts of methane while regurgitating, rechewing, and digesting food. These characteristics add to growing concerns some people have about eating meat. Greenhouse gas emissions from the farming and livestock industries have also been gradually increasing since the 2000s. Experts speculate that with eating habits changing and the food service industry expanding, meat consumption has increased overall and the number of cattle raised has surged. Carbon emissions from the farming and livestock industries amounts to millions of tons per year in South Korea. A South Korean research team has discovered genetic traits in cows with low levels of carbon emissions by analyzing the genetic big data of cattle. As the cow's digestive system passes on healthy genetic characters, the cattle's growth rate is accelerated and subsequently, carbon emissions are reduced while farmhouse profits increase. Corn or other grains consumed by cows are hardly excreted through feces. This means that the digestion and absorption rate has increased. We have also confirmed that the weight of meat after slaughter has increased 10 to 20 percent compared to other farms. As a result, greenhouse gas emissions required to produce one kilogram of beef have been reduced to 30 percent of the global average. We aim to develop a system that allows people to enjoy meat without having its taste or quality affected. The same research team is examining whether they'll be able to enter the U.S. market with the new low-carbon beef production system they've developed. Tong Eun-ju, Arirang News.